I'm Mike Frankel in Ocean City for a West Jersey Football League playoff pod semifinal game between the hometown Red Raiders and the St. Joseph Wildcats. It's a playoff matchup we wouldn't see in a normal year. Of course, this year, anything but normal. The winner moves on to face Camden in a pod championship game next weekend. First quarter, the Wildcats force an Ocean City three and out and then go to work on offense. Cole Mercado with a first down run and more. Mercado down the far sideline, and the initial indication is he's in for the touchdown. But the officials would get together and say he stepped out at the three. So first and goal, St. Joe. On the next play, it's Ahmad Ross right up the middle to finish off the drive. The Army commit Ross punches it in, and the Wildcats take a 7-0 lead. Ocean City settling in here in the second quarter. Jake and Sarah with a tough run up the middle to move the sticks for the Raiders. The drive would stall inside the 10, so here's Brendan McGonigal on to attempt a 23-yard field goal. It's good to get OC on the board. More tough running from the Raiders on their next drive. This time it's quarterback Joe Rapetti on the keeper. Rapetti moving the chains and fighting for extra yardage. First down Ocean City. And later in the drive, Rapetti rolls out, hits Jake Schneider for the touchdown. Five yards on the toss from Rapetti to Schneider as OC moves in front 10-7 at the half. Same score in the fourth quarter and Ocean City is on the move again. Facing fourth and short, it's Rapetti on another keeper. Joe Rapetti keeps his legs moving and picks up a first down for the Red Raiders. OC facing another fourth down now. Fourth and one from the two yard line and the Wildcats make a goal line stand. Rutgers commit Keyshawn Griffin leading the charge. St. Joe keeps it a three point game. The Wildcats trying to go to the air on the ensuing possession. Remember they're backed up inside the five and the OC defense swarms in for the safety. Matt Christie and Will Drain team up for the sack. That makes it 12 to seven Red Raiders. Same score with under a minute to go in the ball game. The Wildcats are on the move in Raiders territory but time is running out. They go to the air, Brady Rauner picks off the pass. Rauner with the interception inside the five yard line to seal the win for Ocean City. 12 to seven your final. It's OC's first win over St. Joe since the 1970s. The Raiders stay undefeated and advance to a pod championship game. Only in 2020 could you have a public school facing a non-public school with so much on the line. It's a win they'll be talking about for a long time in Ocean City. Well, the first drive both ways, offense and defense, they came out and we're like, oh, they're pretty big. Like, maybe we can't compete with them. We're like, wait, we're Ocean City. When have we ever backed down from a fight? When have we ever said we can't do it? We always can do anything if you just put your mind to it. And we just came out and smacked them in the face the rest of the game. Feels great to beat one of these uh, big uh, power schools, uh, these private schools that are down here. They think they beat up on all these public schools. And we came out here, showed what, uh, showed that we're for real. We're not underrated. Uh, despite our what some say would be an easy schedule, we're dominating. Came out here tonight and just uh, uh, beat them up on both sides of the ball and took the W. I don't even know what to say, man. It's just uh, they're a great program. It's a signature win for us. You know, it's the culmination of a, a lot of hard work. Uh, you know, for a long time, but um, but you know, we, we got a championship game to play next week. So I mean, this is awesome. We're gonna enjoy it, but I want to win that thing. So Ocean City moves to six and zero. They'll face Camden in the West Jersey Football League Pod B title game next week. St. Joe drops to five and two. They'll face crosstown rival Hamilton next week. By the boardwalk, I'm Mike Frankel, JerseySportsZone.com.